Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Tuesday, November 7th. I'm Christy Matino. It's election day and voters in a handful of states are heading to the polls for the 2023 off year elections. And a lot is at stake, not just for the local races, but also for how this could affect the 2024 presidential election. Abortion access, a race for the state Supreme Court and control of state legislatures will be on the ballot in many states on Tuesday. Now, this could all impact President Joe Biden's reelection campaign or it could show some lessons for former President Donald Trump's campaign as he leads the GOP primary field. The biggest among the contests is control of Virginia's 40 state Senate seats and 100 state House seats, which Governor Glenn Youngkin is banking on to help enact abortion legislation and other key conservative priorities next year. The governor has been traveling across the Commonwealth, calling on Virginians to go out and vote. Hold the House, flip the Senate. We win Tuesday, and what will happen will be the second shot heard around the world. Let's go win this thing. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And President Joe Biden unveiled more than $16 billion in new grants for passenger rail projects. They will benefit an Amtrak route well-traveled by Biden himself. He outlined how the grants will overhaul trains and infrastructure across 25 rail projects along the Northeast Corridor. All the build the Northeast Corridor from Boston to Washington. It's part of my agenda to invest in America, and I've been fighting for this for a long time. Over 2,200 trains run in this corridor every single day, serving 800,000 passengers. Now, according to the White House, the funding itself, which was appropriated through the president's bipartisan infrastructure law, will renovate old rails to increase train speeds and reduce passenger delays. But this line has tunnels and bridges that are over 100 years old. Train stations that haven't seen a major upgrade for generations. This outdated infrastructure leads to over 4,000 hours of delays each year on Amtrak. And Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds is now throwing her support to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, endorsing him to be the Republican Party's 2024 presidential nominee on Monday night. Not only do we need to make sure that we elect someone who can win and beat Joe Biden, we need a president who has the skill and the resolve to reverse the madness that we see every single day. Is Ron DeSantis. DeSantis is now expected to use Reynolds' endorsement to jumpstart his campaign that has been struggling to compete with former President Donald Trump's hold on the party electorate. DeSantis told reporters back in October that having her support could have a significant impact on his campaign. The endorsement comes just days ahead of the third presidential debate, which is set to take place in Miami, Florida on Wednesday night. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wax Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines turning in politics.